Good morning, family. Um, um, Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven: You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. Um, that is a commandment that that I've been <clears throat> uh, seeking the Lord to fulfill or to obey, uh, because it is a command, <clears throat> one of the fir first command. Um, uh, that the Lord uh, told us to love him with all of his, our hearts, uh, soul, and our minds. So I've been seeking the Lord for that and asking the Lord to, um, to help me with that. And, um, and I was listening to Brother Zach this week, uh, earlier part of this week, and uh, he shared something that really blessed me and really helped me. Uh, he said, if you want to uh, love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, uh, one of the first things that you need to do is to uh, uh, meditate on how much God loves you. Um, and he also said that to uh, they that have been forgiven much, uh, loves much. Uh, and also he said, uh, and the most important thing is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, and that's what I've been concentrating on and, and uh, meditating on. And I was asking the Lord how uh, to show me how much he loves me. Um, uh, because the Bible says, I believe, somewhere in First John, I can't remember the exact passage, but to love the Lord, uh, that we love Him because He first loved us, uh, and so I was asking the Lord uh, to show me how much He loves me, and He, I believe, He showed me this scripture. Uh, if you would turn with me to Jeremiah uh, 32. Um, in 39 uh, through uh, 41. And uh, we know that this is talking about uh, the new covenant that the Lord was going to make uh, with us, his people. And uh, Jeremiah uh, 32, uh, beginning at 39, and I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. And there was something that, uh, before I continue to read, there was something in these two words in these uh, passages of scripture that really blessed me. Every time I see them, I get excited, especially when uh, God is the one who's speaking, and that is, I will. Um, and those two words always excite me every time I read them in the Bible when God saying that he's going to do something, and he said, I will. That he's going, he decided to, by his own will, the Lord said he's going to do something. And um, in the singles meeting yesterday, we were talking about, uh, in Daniel, the fourth chapter, and one particular verse talks about how that God is the king of every, everything and everybody. And no one can stop his hand and tell him, what have you done or what are you doing? And, and that's what, uh, when he said he's going to do something, he will do it. So uh, that is one of the blessings that I get, uh, especially through these uh, passages of scriptures, and you're going to see it several, several times. Uh, I will give, one, give them one heart and one way uh, that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. And that first 41 is really what blessed me because the Lord asked uh, or commanded us to love him with all of our hearts, souls, and our minds. Uh, but I see that God done it first by loving me first, he said, I will uh, rejoice over them to do them good, and I will plant them in this land assuredly, and he's going to do it with his whole heart, and he's going to do it with his whole soul. And that really blessed me because I see how much he loves me in this particular lesson. It's not that he was half-hearted in loving me. He was wholehearted in loving me and doing what is uh, best for me. So that really blessed me uh, to see him, uh, to see how much he loved me uh, in that particular area. And in another uh, particular scripture he showed me, or I believe he shared with me, is uh, 2 Thessalonians 
um, uh, uh, three. Verse 3 and uh, verse 5 says, But the Lord uh, is faithful, God is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. So he's going to establish us and keep us from evil, and he's going to do it through his faithfulness. He's going to be faithful in keeping us, establishing in us, and keeping us from evil. And I believe the uh, NASB says, keeping us from the evil one. Uh, and verse 5 says, And the Lord uh, direct your hearts into the love of God, into the patient waiting for Christ. Uh, but NASB says that, uh, May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God, into the steadfastness of Christ. And that is what I've been seeking the Lord for, is to uh, show how much he loves me, and also to direct my heart into the love of God, that he, he can do uh, that work in me. Uh, as uh, Romans uh, Romans five uh, sp uh, speaks about uh, Romans five uh, and five and hope maketh not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which is given unto us. So the Lord is going to uh, with us seeking Him uh, with our whole hearts, seeking Him uh, to love Him uh, because for a lot of times I try to uh, manufacture that love. That okay, the Lord commanded me to love him, so let me love him. So I try to manufacture uh, love, or I try to do things to manufacture that love. Uh, but I believe that if we look up to God, and look up and see him, and allow him to do that work, to seek to be filled with his spirit, um, and that's what I have been uh, trying to uh, learn, because I believe that's the foundation. Um, and for... Uh, just kind of by way of uh, testimony, uh, sometimes when you begin your Christian, uh, um, or me, uh, when I began my Christian walk, that I wanted to do the will of God. I had a desire to do the will of God, and, and whatever uh, I was asked to do, I wanted to do it with all of my might. Um, but I, I didn't start with the right foundation, as uh, Brother Zach let us know about how that Ephesians are split up into three first three chapters about what God has done for us, um, and the third and the next three are about what we do for God. But I started into Ephesians four, as it were, um, doing things, doing things, um, keeping myself busy. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all of your might. Um, but that foundation is what I was missing, and after a while, um, you. Uh, start to derive your self-worth from what you do and how much you do it and how well you do it. Um, and But after a while, you keep spinning your wheels and you get burned out um, uh, because your source is what you're doing. Um, you're trying to get your source or your source of, of edification or how I feel on my self-worth from what I am doing. Uh, but uh, later on, I, wanted, I, I saw that the foundation was not laid, and that is what God has done for me, my, uh, how much he loves me and how to meditate on that of how much he loves me and seeking to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God, that it automatically, if there's an automatic thing that happens is because my response is automatic to the point to where I see how much he loves me, and it's automatically it's not something that I have to um, to uh, pump up or prime. It's that it's, it's automatic, and I see how much he loves me. And then I believe that uh, once we, uh, once I get to that point, then I can love him with all of my heart, uh, my soul, and my or my strength. And so that's that's what I want. Uh, solicit your prayers for is to is uh, that the Lord will continue to show me in greater measure how much he loves me. And, and that he would direct my heart into the love of God and that I would seek him, that he would do that uh, for me and to, and to uh, meditate on how much he has forgiven me uh, or recognize how much he has forgiven me um, uh, and to seek to be filled with his Holy Spirit. 
Uh, so, so those are kind of what the Lord has been showing me recently, and and it has been uh, already. I see fruit in it, um, and and I just love Him, um, and uh, and I just want to concentrate on how much uh, He loves me, um, and um, just kind of my testimony, just to kind of uh, tell you how what the Lord done for me. Uh, I was coming here, and um, I, I think it's Twelfth uh, on Twelfth Street. Um, I stopped at the stop sign and my uh, truck started to spin, like just all of a sudden just started. So I wasn't even moving. It was just started to, <laughs> and I didn't understand. I didn't know what was going on. So, but the Lord automatically gave me what to do, um, and and there was no anxiety there uh, or no adrenaline rush or anything like that. And. And just even in that small way, he just showed me how much he loves me. Just kind of just showed me what to do, and I, I came on in. So um, uh, it's a joy, and, and I, I just thank God for his revelation um, and showing me that. And that's uh, something I want to uh, continue to uh, seek the Lord for in greater and greater measure is that he would direct my heart into the love of God and the steadfastness of Christ in Jesus Christ.